That's our top story this evening. Today marks day 14 of the Russian invasion of Ukraine as it continues to impact people all over the world. Here locally, the Russian Ballet Theater is making a stop in Monroe tonight. Fox 14's Maya Hudgens and Hunter Elise are live at the Jack Howard Theater with more on how the war is affecting the dancers and their families in Ukraine. Thanks, Stephen. And a quick update for you here just now. The United Nations reporting more than 1,400 civilian casualties, including 37 children in Ukraine. They also say that 908 Ukrainians have been injured so far. However, that number could actually be higher as the UN says this is a government-controlled area. And this is day 14 of the Russia invasion in Ukraine. The Russian Ballet Theater, who's performing here tonight, has actually changed their name to RBT to honor those in pain and suffering. We spoke exclusively to a Ukrainian uh, dancer who is part of the RBT program who has families still in Ukraine taking shelter from all the bombings. Krilio Kruglov had already been on tour with RBT performing Swan Lake for two weeks when he got the news that Russia had invaded Ukraine. My first reaction is, uh, was a shock and uh, I'm scary from my family, from my friends uh, who live in Kyiv. And, uh, it was a terrible day. In an exclusive interview, he spoke on how his family is hearing the sirens and taking shelter in basements as Russian troops are destroying the insides of homes. They try to be strong, yeah, and, um, but uh, I feel they scared and. Uh, Let's leave and keep now. According to the UN, they estimate more than 2 million people have left Ukraine for neighboring countries. The Ukrainian and Russian dancers in the RBT company say they have older family members in danger zones who are refusing to leave the country. They wouldn't go. They would say that it's, um, this is where I was born, this is where I was raised. I don't care, I'm staying. Um, the younger members, they're there to fight. Now, the RBT performance will start at 7.30 tonight right here at the Jack Howard Theater. You can buy your tickets at the gate before you come in. And, of course, like we mentioned earlier, they are dancing for peace. And we will have a recap of their performance tonight at 9 p.m. on Fox 14. So stay with us for that. Reporting live in Monroe, I'm Hunter Elise. And I'm Maya Hudgens. Stephen, we'll send it back to you.